Lilligant wants to follow me. Lead it to where Hop and Pet Lil are waiting. Wait, what? Did it get randomized into a Zoroark? Oh my god, look at that! Hi, I'm Mike, Pokétips Mike, and welcome to episode number 6 of my Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield Isle of Armor Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. This is it, my friends. Today, my Isle of Armor journey is coming to an end because we've beaten all three trials. We've taken on the Tower of Darkness and even beaten the Dojo Master Mustard. So now there's only one thing left for us to do. After being missing for basically all of the series, Hop showed up last time and he told us to go to the Forest of Focus because we are going to try to unlock the secrets of Dynamax and Gigantamax today. We've got to turn our big Draco here, Urshifu, into a Gigantamax Pokemon and we got to see what Sho in her new Gigantamax form is capable of too. We've got a lot of epic stuff ahead today, so let's go ahead and let's get going to the Forest of Focus. Finally, Pokétips, I've been waiting forever for you! I thought Glimwood Tangle was a real maze, but this place is on an entirely different level! Anyway, I was checking out this Forest of Focus place when I was waiting for you to show up, and I saw signs that Lilligant and Applin live here! Maybe we could gather a bit of sweet nectar that Urshifu should love from their flowers and fruits! Alright, let's go check it out! Ooh, look at the ninjask flying around in the trees! <laughs> oh, there's a Petalil! And it looks so cute with its big head! Petalil evolves in a Lilligant, which is just the Pokemon we're looking for! Ah! Hey, doesn't it seem to be acting a little strange? Yeah, it looks a little lost. <laughs> oh, it's running right up to us! You really must be lost if you think I'm your mom! And now I'm stuck. Okay, you gotta help us out here, Pokétips. Go find one of Petalil's parents or something, would you? Look for some worried-looking Lilligants. I'll wait here with this little one. I'm afraid I'll step on it if I start walking around. Well, Hop, just watch your gigantic feet, buddy. It's not that bad. Oh, Palkia! We've got a lot of crazy Pokémon in here. Hey, Palkia, can you help me find that Lilligant, please? Oh, I really have no idea where to go. Oh, but there's a lot of Palkia everywhere. If I thought I was getting lost the first time I came in here, I am extremely lost now. Oh, I just realized my worst nightmare. What if the Lilligant is randomized into one of these random Pokemon? Wait, nope, never mind. There it is. I was about to say, what if I ran right past it a couple of times and didn't even realize? All right, well, let's go talk to you. Oh, you look happy to see me. Lily? We've got your lost baby! Lilligant wants to follow me. Lead it to where Hop and Pet Lil are waiting. Wait, what? Did it get randomized into a Zoroark? Oh my god, look at that! It actually did get randomized into a different Pokemon! <laughs> this feels extremely wrong. Zoroark, you are not the father. I do not think it's a good idea to bring that thing to the baby Pet Lil. I feel like I'm bringing the big bad wolf over to the Little Red Riding Hood right now. This is a problem, and I got a Conkeldur following me too. I'm leading all the Pokemon today. Where did I leave Hop? I think yes, right over here. Oh, this is so wrong. This is extremely wrong. Zoroark is the illusion Pokemon, so maybe this Petalil is actually a Zora, and this all works out. Alright, Petalil, is this your parent? Oh, and it turned back into a Lilligant. Okay. This is fine. This is... this is definitely okay. Heh, <laughs> looks like they're both pretty happy to see each other. Gantu! What do you think, Pokétips? I'd say Lilligant is trying to thank you. Lily! And there they go, walking off together, and I'm gonna forever wonder, was that actually Petalil's parent, or did I just make a big mistake? Nice one, Pokétips! Now we've got some nectar! Hopefully this nectar's sweet and sticky, just like Urshifu likes it. Slurp. Wait, Hop, are you trying the nectar? Hmm, I definitely wouldn't call it very sticky. It's pretty watery. I don't think this is what you need, mate, but at least we did a good deed anyway. Hop, you're just saying that because you want to finish the rest of it. Uh, you nasty boy, you. Let's give Applin's nectar a try next. I swear, just like how before I was helping Mustard run his errands, right now I'm helping Hop try nectar from different Pokemon. Are you lost too, little Applin? What is it with all the Pokemon getting lost in here? And where did Hop come from? There! It's an Applin! Appway! <laughs> I love the way that thing moves. It just rolls. <laughs> You're rolling up to the tree? Oh, I see a little apple in there. Is that the Applin? This is rotten. I don't see the Applin anywhere, but I'm sure it went rolling off this way. Pokétips, we've got to find that Applin! Well, luckily for you, I can see it right up there, so let's go talk to this tree. Hey, tree, how you doing? You doing good, tree? 
Huh? Something wrong with that berry tree? No, Hop, I'm just talking to the tree. Pee! Trees don't usually go pee. Ouch, the applin clocked you right in the head. Oof. Ah. Ah, it ran off again. Huh? Uh, Pokey Tips, is your head feeling a bit moist? Why would you say that word, Hop? I hate that word. That's gotta be Applin's nectar on you. Please don't tell me you're gonna lick the nectar off the top of my head. I don't like the way you're looking at me right now, Hop. But is Applin's nectar sweet enough for Urshifu? Well, like they say, the proof is in the pudding or the Applin. So let's give it a try. Oh my god, he's licking the nectar off of my head. Lilligan's nectar wasn't it, Applin's nectar wasn't it, they weren't really sticky enough to be the sticky honey that Urshifu loves. Hop, why don't we let Urshifu try this stuff out instead of you tasting it? Oh, don't you get any weird ideas now, Hop. That's it! I was stuck on Pokemon that produce nectar, but what we really need is a Pokemon that uses that sort of nectar to produce something else. And when it comes to Pokemon that collect and store up lots of nectar to make honey, well, the answer is obvious, right? Sheep Pokemon, yes! Er, no, that would be Wooloo. It might eat grass, but it can't produce honey. You sure or do you want to go taste that Pokemon too? The Beehive Pokemon has got to be the answer. I'm sure of it this time. And Vespaquen is the Beehive Pokemon, right, Pokey Tips? I think we should find some on the island shaped like a honeycomb over near that big blue tower. We haven't gone over in that direction yet, so we're gonna go to the Challenge Beach and Honeycomb Island. Let's make it happen. How do I find the way out of this forest? I am so lost. Which is the right way? Please tell me this is it. I can't see a thing. Training Lowlands. No, I don't think this is the right way. Is this the right way? Uh, yes, Challenge Beach. Wait a second. This is a new area, right? We haven't been to Challenge Beach? Of course it is, but I just had to double check because I see the Pokemon over there. It's something I really like. Let's get this Luxray! Yes! A wild Luxray! Now, I know some of you guys might not be as excited for this as I am, but I love Luxray. It is one of my most favorite Pokemon of all time. Look at that beast. It is beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Let's get it in this Quick Ball. The Quick Ball almost has the same exact colors as Luxray. Blue and yellow. And black or gray in the middle, I can't really tell. But either way, this ball looks like a Luxray, so let's catch it in one. Quick ball, go! Come on, Luxray. I love you. Please get in this ball. I will treat you well forever. Please. Yes! Yes! Oh, that's the best possible encounter. I'm so happy! Yes! Luxray can see through solid objects. It will instantly spot prey trying to hide behind walls, even if the walls are thick. All right, Luxray, we are going to name you Hufflepuff after the Hogwarts house. So let's add you to the party, actually. Oh, that's so awesome. I can't believe we actually got Luxray. I think I mentioned like an episode or two ago that I really wanted this thing. And oh, look at the Tapu over there. It's cool. I would have much rather had the Luxray, but it's always cool seeing these legendaries. Tapu Coco. I love that name too, Tapu Coco. What berry are you holding? A Shuka berry. That's one of those berries that makes something do less damage, right? Lessen the damage taken from a super effective ground type attack? We're gonna give you that berry right back. Look at him. Oh, I'm so happy. And Lanoon, I'm gonna stay away from that thing. That moves really quickly. And Shadow Mimikyu is coming right up to me. Hello, Shadow Mimikyu. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, what is that flying Pokemon above me? Oh, that's a point pole. I think this thing can fly normally, right? It doesn't look too weird flying around like that. Okay, well, there's the Tower of Waters. This could have been the tower that we took on last time. Oh, and this would be a good training spot too with Blissey popping up literally everywhere. Wow, crazy poi pole everywhere. But unfortunately, since we did the Tower of Darkness, we can't go this way now. Let's make our way over to the Hexagon Island, Honeycomb Island. Is that it right over there? I thought it was gonna be a little farther out. Yeah, all right, Honeycomb C. Well, do I see any new Pokemon? Not yet, I guess we gotta go a little farther. Oh, yes we do, Octillery! Sticking his head out of the water to say hello. Ah, this Pokemon used to be so useful back in X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire with this ability, I think it was Suction Cups or something like that. When you were fishing, it would make it so you'd guaranteed get to Pokemon on the rod. Nowadays, Octillery isn't so useful, but... I'll always remember this Pokemon from the chain fishing days. 
The Jet Pokemon. It has a tendency to want to be in holes. It prefers rock crags or pots and sprays ink from them before attacking. Imagine going into somebody's house and going into their cabinets. You open it up, you get a pot, you go to grab it because you want to boil some water or something, and boom, Octillery pops out and goes... <laughs> Shoots nasty ink all over you. Angelina the Octillery. I literally have so many Pokemon at this point, I don't even know what to do with them. There's literally no way I could possibly use all the Pokemon I have now. Is this gonna be another new- Yes, it is another new area. Honeycomb Island. So, we're gonna find a Gothita and- Oh, Buzzwool over there! Now, that would have been the one legendary I probably would have wanted, because Buzzwool is so ridiculous. Gothitelle, though. Aw, oh, it broke out of the quick ball. And, oh, future sights. Okay, quite honestly, I think I'm just gonna run from this Pokemon. Again, at this point, I just have so many Pokemon, I don't need everything I see anymore. So, goodbye, although you are cool. If we were earlier on in the adventure, I would definitely use you. Hop! You alright? You have a big Buzzwool right next to you. Let's go check this thing out. <laughs> Yeah, flex on me, Buzzwool. Look at that nose, too. Not only does it have big muscles, it also has a really big nose. I love this Pokemon. It has so much personality. <laughs> and even when it goes down, it still has to get that boom. Still has to get that last flex in there. Okay, I've had enough. One is enough. No, leave me alone. You Gosh, this thing really does remind me of the mosquitoes around here. They will really come after you. There you are, Poketips! Glad you could finally make it! Eh, you know, Hop, I had to see the sights on the way. Can't rush right over here. I've seen loads of combi around, but no sign of Vespaquen so far. But they're the ones that have the sticky honey. Huh? I borrowed a power spot detector from Sonya, but why is it going off now? Is that tree a power spot? Something's gotta be up, Poketips! I think we should check it out! What do I do? Do I just walk up to the tree and talk to it? Wait, what was that? Did I hear two of them? No, that was just a really loud buzzwall. Well, I'm gonna talk to the tree before the buzzwall assaults me. There's a cloying smell of thick, rich honey coming from the top of the tree. Will you shake it? I don't think- that tree looks pretty thick. I don't think I could shake that thing. I'll give it a shot. Come on, Poketips, push! Whoa! What? I did that? Well, something's angry. <laughs> what is happening now? Oh no. Oh no, this reminds me of when I was a little boy and I messed with the bees. Oh no. Oh, there's a TM back there? I didn't even see that. Whatever it is that came from the tree sucks you into the Pokemon den. A Regigigas! Wait, no, it's a Machamp. It's a Machamp! <laughs> Cho is thinking about camping. Why is Cho thinking about camping? It should be thinking about that crazy Machamp there! Wow, those arms look so weird! This thing is even weirder now that Regigigas is actually in the game. You've got the real Regigigas, and then you've got this weird looking thing. Well, my friends, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Now more than ever is your time to shine. Let's go ahead and use G-Max Fireball! There we go, Dynamax energy surrounding the Pokeball. Let's go ahead and throw it! And it is Gigantamax Cho! Look at that blue fireball! It is beautiful! Oh, Cho! G-Max Fireball, let's go! And the fireball turns red when we use the attack. That's a little odd, but it works. Woo! That did a lot of damage. Okay, I am hyped right now. I'm excited that we're using Gigantamax Cho! But I'm terrified because that looks like it's a two-hit KO! What do I do here? I didn't think this battle was gonna be this tough. I honestly thought we were gonna come in. I was really expecting. I guess I forgot this was randomized for a second that we were gonna see a Vespaquen. Let's use our full restore. We really need it. That max strike really hurts, but ooh, seismic toss. Thank you. If it goes for seismic toss, we might be okay. We, it cannot use that max strike on me. That does way too much damage. Okay, G-Max Fireball again. Wow, it's still above half health. Oh no, and it's going for Max Strike again. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no. 
Cho, take it. Good. Oh, it makes me slower and slower every turn. And wow, Gigantamax ends so quickly. And now we are in a big danger zone. This is bad. I have nothing that really wants to switch into this. If I could get Minerva in here and fire off a Psychic, that would be pretty nice. But I don't know. It would have to go for Seismic Toss again. This was supposed to be really easy. Oh, good. Seismic Toss. Even there, though, it does so much damage. What is that? 80 damage? This thing is level 80? No wonder we're having a lot of trouble with it. Well, I'm gonna fire off the Psychic. It's super effective. And as tempting as the Scald is to try to burn it and lower the damage it can do to me, we gotta just try to finish this thing straight up. So... Minerva! Psychic! This might be your last Psychic, so make it count! Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Please, Regigigas. Please, Machamp. Okay, Cross Chop? We resist! And we're going down to 5 HP. Alright, well, I'm not gonna go down without a fight. Minerva, I'm not letting you go down easily. Let's full restore and hope we can keep this battle going longer. Please, Seismic Toss again. Double Edge. Oh, no. Ugh! That does so much. It looks like my hands are tied. Minerva, if you could get a crit here and psychic this thing, you live. But if you don't, you're probably gonna die here. So Minerva, let's make it count. Psychic! Please! Oh, it's gonna live, and I think this is the end. Minerva! Minerva! Oh, dynamic punch! No! Minerva! You tried, Minerva. You really tried. Thank you. Without you, this battle would 100% be over. But because you brought that health down so much, we have a shot. So I think we're gonna bring Arthur in. I think no matter what, Arthur has the bulk right now, even with like a little bit lower HP to survive pretty much anything this Machamp throws at me. So let's try going for Petal Blizzard to finish this battle once and for all. I'm good. We're faster than it. There we go. There we go. Huh, look at the way it falls down onto its back and it shrinks down a tiny little size now. Wow, you are a murderer. So we got our comb of max honey. Yay, it only cost us Minerva. That is some seriously sticky honey. Come on, you've got the thing you were looking for, so let's head back to the dojo at once. Yeah, we got it, but it what? Oh my goodness. Nope, we are getting off this island. Putting away Minerva can wait. I am done with all the mosquitoes, with all the bees, all that nonsense. All right, Minerva, my friend, you were amazing. Went through a lot with you on this whole adventure. Got the water stone for you. You helped a bunch in battles. I'll always appreciate you, my amazing water type Pokemon. I guess for now, I'll bring George back onto the team. And Cho, whew, that was a dangerous last battle. Let's go back into the dojo, now that we have the honey. Welcome back, my wandering Wooloo. Oh, and what's that sweet scent I detect? That'd be the Max Honey that Urshifu loves to the max. Very nicely done, Pokétips. And our little Hoppykins, too. If we add Max Honey to our Max Soup, even Urshifu will want a sip. Riffu! <laughs> well, it's been real, Pokétips. It's been real. But I think you've... But I think you've learned just about everything the Master Jojo has to teach you. Which means that you and I can finally have a proper battle with absolutely no holding back. I won't be pulling any punches this time, kiddo. If you think you're really ready for me when I'm serious, then come to the battle court out back. Battling the master when he's serious, that's seriously terrifying. He's the one that taught Lee all he knows, so Mustard's gotta be one wicked strong trainer. Alright my friends, so this is it! The big battle against Mustard, and this time he says he's not gonna be holding back. I guess we'll see about that, won't we? Well, this is gonna be the team that we use. We need to give an item to Hogsmeade. Eh, let's give him the King's Rock, maybe give him a little bit of a flinch chance. I would give him the Icy Rock, but we don't have any other Pokémon on the team that really benefit from Hail right now. And one more thing that we have to do is finally give our boy Draco the Max Soup. This'll be fun. I don't know who we're gonna end up Gigantamaxing in this battle, but I know, but either way, it's gonna be exciting. So my friends, if you haven't already, smash the like button right now. I'm gonna need all of your likes and all of your supports to go ahead and win this next battle. Let's do it. The master of the dojo, Mustard. He's waiting for us just like Clara was before. Woohoo, are you ready for a battle with little old me? Let's do it. You know, I've been thinking more and more these days about how fortunate we were to have you join the dojo. Even if it was by mistake at first. I can't thank you enough, Pokétips. 
It's been a while since I've been so excited. I can feel my blood burning and my heart just dancing with anticipation. I just can't resist a battle against a worthy opponent, no matter how old I get. Now then, let's get things going. This is the most fun time in the world. Oh, I have to agree with you, Mustard. Let's do it. This is what all of our training has been for. The final battle against Jojo Master Mustard. He's ready. He's in his Dynamax form. And he's setting off a Kabutops this time. No Alakazam today. And Hufflepuff, let's make your first battle appearance. Dynamax is online, boys. Let's make it happen. It's been a while since I've faced such a strong opponent. My blood is boiling over. Time to see exactly what all this training has made of you. Oh, level 80. You saw how much we struggled against one level 80 Pokemon before. My guy Mustard is gonna have a full team of level 80s right now. At least we're coming in here with the type advantage. This charge is such a good move. Nice power, 30% chance of paralyzing. Ooh, steam eruption though, that's scary. That is a strong move, usually exclusive to Volcanion. Oh, he's getting the burn. He's gotta get the burn, of course he does. Well, if we can one-shot, we can! That is why I love Luxray. I see you've got your fundamentals down packed, but that won't cut it. What is this berry? Oh, it hurts me? It hurts me when I knock it out? What a garbage berry. Wow, we took down that Pokemon, but it doesn't feel like it. We are down to 57 HP and Moltres- SHINY Moltres! That's a beauty right there! Oh, if only Minerva was here to see it, Minerva would love the shiny Moltres. But as it stands right now, it looks like my team doesn't really love that shiny Moltres. George or Cho are probably my best switch-ins, but I want to see what this thing is going to do to me. So let's full restore, get rid of that burn, and let's heal up Hufflepuff. And maybe, just maybe, if it doesn't have anything too crazy, we might be able to take it out here with Hufflepuff. And yeah, Nightshade's not looking too bad. It's hurting a lot because this thing is very high leveled. But if that's how it wants to play, I'll play with that Moltres, that shiny chicken. Ugh, the terrible part is if it goes for that again, we'll be down to 40 HP. But I'd rather see it do that than burn up, which might be enough to take me out here. Oh, Hufflepuff, we just caught you today. And just like that, it's over. Oh, I love this thing. What a shame. What a shame. I guess it was too good to be true. Well, Cho, get in here. Now, the fun part about burn up, we went over this last episode. But now that it used Burn Up, it's not a fire type anymore. So Pyro Ball is gonna be a real good move to use here. And let's go for it. Joe, let's punish that thing. It knocked out one of my Pokemon. Let's destroy that Moltres. Yeah, now all it can really do is just throw some shade at me. But that doesn't matter. Who cares about that? Let's kick that thing to its doom. And we get the crit too. Nice. Didn't need it, but it's always nice. Magnezone, I'll take that. That's a good matchup. That's great for me. I'm scared though, I'm really scared, so let's not hold back, let's go for the Pyro Ball and hope it doesn't have the sturdy ability, because I would love to one-shot this thing right now. Pyro Ball! And it's down and out, no sturdy on this Magnezone today. Alright, this is looking good so far, Sigilyph. Not a Pokemon I see that much. It's absolutely a weird one, and I feel kind of comfy here weighing my options with U-Turn. Pivoting out with U-Turn into George, and hopefully seeing it go for a Psychic move would be really good right now. So Georgie, let's hope we made the right play. Get in here! Let's see it. Oh, it's going for Tickle! <laughs> I guess that means we made the right play. Although I don't like seeing my attack and defense getting lowered. That's never that good. Ugh, at least it's not doing damage to me, but now we're really all we're gonna do to this thing with Darkest Lariat is a tickle. Wow, even with minus two? Oh, we got a crit. We're really coming in with the crits today. That is awesome. I was about to say, we were at minus two attack. There was no way we we're gonna finish that thing off there. And ooh, Scizor, he must be in trouble. Or he thinks, you know what? We lowered that thing's attack. It's all good. But George, you see George over there. He's flexing. He's stretching that chest out. George is ready to take another name. Let's make it happen with this Flare Blitz. First impression. Wow, that would be really... Oh! No! No! George! No! George was so ready to take out that Scizor too. That should have been an easy kill for George. It was the tickle. It was the tickle. The tickle lowered my defense by two stages. And Scizor has massive attack. Oh, 
No! Wow, this feels bad. Let's hope we end the death train here, though. Cho, you gotta avenge George right now. We can't afford to miss. Let's go for the pyro ball. No! Cho, I swear, if you go down to this thing... Okay, good. Aeroblast is a special-based move, so it's not gonna be doing that much to me. Cho, you better hit it now. You better hit it now. All right, we're looking good, and Scizor's down. See, that's what should have happened before. Ugh, I was laughing about the tickle and everything. I'm like, oh, it's tickle. It's not gonna do that much, but tickle is the reason that I died there. My skills are only getting sharper. Try not to get captivated by my might. Oh, and Snorlax. Look at that, the green Snorlax. Snorlax is the final Pokemon. Cho can deal with this thing, but I think... We have a little bit of a better option, so let's you turn out. Now, become the gigantic fist that breaks your opponent. Gigantamax, go! And now we are really embracing the whole tree theme here. Gigantamax Snorlax. But fortunately for me, Cho isn't really gonna be sticking around to see this thing. Let's you turn out. And I gotta be honest with you, I'm a little scared to bring Draco in here. It's a good matchup, I know. But I know Snorlax can hit pretty hard. So fingers crossed, let's hope we can get through it. G-Max Replenish. Oh, whoa. Yep, scary. Time to heal. I don't even care. I will stall this thing out right now. No shame. Ugh, that Replenish hits so hard. And even if I Dynamax right now, it's gonna hurt like crazy. So I think my best option again is just probably playing the swap game. We need to stall this thing out because it does too much to me. I'm hoping I can stall it out without dying though. Here's another one. G-Max Replenish again. Yo! All right. Well, there it is. Now it's just a regular Snorlax. Can we put this thing to sleep? Arthur, listen up, buddy. I need you. I need you to hit this sleep powder. This is how we win. Please, Arthur, please! Yes! That's my boy! That's my Arthur! Making that Snorlax go to sleep! And now let's swap back into Draco. And now let's use our third and final full restore. Oh, that was so risky. That was so risky, but you see how much that paid off? Now look at us, we're back at full health. And we've got the Dynamax online. Mustard, your Gigantamax Snorlax, that was cute. But let's use the Pokemon you gave to me and turn it into your doom. Activate Dynamax Pokeball. Gigantamax Urshifu, get out here. Look at him, 379 HP. Let's go for Max Knuckle. Fists from the sky say hi. Boost in my attack, we're not even gonna need it. And all, oh, all he can do is growl at me. I'm sorry, Mustard, but that is not enough. Let's finish you once and for all with G-Max. One blow. Draco obliterates! And just like that, we win! Dojo Master Mustard down. Oh, my boy Mustard was not joking though. That was a tough battle. Two of my Pokemon down. Wahaha! <laughs> I held absolutely nothing back, and yet you still defeated me. The apprentice suppresses his master. A true moment of pride for the master. Ooh, I am shaking, and I'm not sure if that's because I'm hungry. I didn't eat breakfast yet today. Or if it was because that battle was super intense. I'm thinking a little bit of both. It seems I want to redo my own training from scratch. Wow, and all of the dojo is here. Oh, darling, did I hear right? You actually lost? You know I can't resist seeing you get all serious about battle, you cheeky thing. You look utterly dashing, darling. Oh, but look at me getting all distracted. You are amazing, Poketips. Looks like we'll have to have some Max Soup tonight to celebrate. I knew you weren't just a new student. I think I'll call you Master Newbie from now on. Well, I'm not surprised one bit, Poketips. I knew you'd win. And you were fabulous too, Urshifu. <laughs> I guess I should congratulate you. But I won't! Why should I celebrate anything you do, huh? Still, that cleared up a lot. You're strong enough to beat the master going all out. I never stood a chance. But the next time I face you, I'll take you on fair and square. And I won't lose, you'll see. Get out of here, Clara, I'm done with you. Well, that wraps up the last of the training here at the Master Dojo. 
Oh, back to normal, huh, Master? Pokey tips. I hope you'll come by and have more battles with me from time to time. It'll make us both stronger. Anyway, let's all head back, shall we? Like one big family. Ah, <sighs> wow. Isle of Armor Randomizer. That was great. The end. We did it. We did it! It only took almost a year, but we did it, my friends. The Isle of Armor Randomizer is done! I hope you had fun watching this series. It was ultra fun for me to record, especially with the amazing Pokemon friends that we made along the way. Arthur, Hogsmeade, Draco, Cho, George, Hufflepuff, Minerva, and all the others we caught. It was amazing using you, and I was honored to be your trainer. Once again, the adventure doesn't quite end here, because next up, we're going to the Crown Tundra. And you're not going to wait very long for that, because we've got the momentum, we're going to keep going, and we're going to the Crown Tundra next time. So my friends, thanks so much for watching the Isle of Armor Randomizer, and I'll see you in a couple of days, or if you're from the future, I'll have a link somewhere in the description or at the end of this video for the Crown Tundra adventure. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.